Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech and DIYs. My name is Pedro and on this episode I'm going to show you how you can buy a Canon 50mm f1.8 Mark II for about $25 or so. So, let's get into it. So, before you get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell icon. Make sure to leave a like on this video and if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And now let's get into the video. So this is how I got the lens. Uh, to say the truth, the lens didn't come nearly as ready to use as your normal lens comes when you buy one. So the lens came with no end caps. It came with the front element separated from the body of the lens. Um, yeah, I knew that when I bought it, that's the reason it was $25 and it didn't bother me too much because as I was saying, I paid $25 so if it was a completely pile of garbage, I only would have lost $25 but I managed to put it on top notch condition and it now works as any other 50mm f1.8 Mark II lens works. The lens uh, produces a great bokeh, great autofocus, because it's a 1.8 in aperture. And the only thing that was kind of missing in terms of parts were the end caps. I bought uh, uh, some end caps from my camera shop. Uh, I make sure to leave a link down below for you to buy some if you need. And uh, I thought the only issue was the front element being separated from the lens body but as it turns out it had also a problem with the autofocus because when I got it I was, as I was saying the front element was separate from the body and I thought it would add to be something to do with uh, the tabs that hold it in place that were broken maybe because the lens fell on the ground or something like that but the actual truth, I don't know what happened to it, but the actual truth is that none of the tabs were broken. So I managed to, even before I needed to uh, take it apart, manage to uh, fit the front element uh, right onto the lens body. And in the end I had to take it apart because I needed to clean uh, on the inside of the lens and on the inside of the front element and I thought the lens was pretty much good so I went ahead and used it on my camera and in manual focus it worked beautifully but when I switch it to autofocus the lens starts to make a lot of noise and I know this is a very noisy lens but it wasn't uh, how a lens should sound so I take it apart and notice that the uh, uh, autofocus motor had a bented wheel. It was a little topper wheel with some teeth on it. And I noticed some of the teeth were bent. And I managed to bend them back into place. And then I tried it on my camera and it worked just fine. As you can see in autofocus I don't have the lens connected. But in autofocus it makes a loud noise. But let me show you. but nothing that would be considered wrong to this lens and the lens works beautifully now and when i bought the caps i managed to keep a 50 millimeter lens for 25 dollars and that's my story oh uh, i almost forgot in order to use this lens with my canon m50 i need an adapter and this is my adapter it's a $20 adapter from Ikea, there's no elements on it. Uh, it just adapts from EF and EFS to EOS M, which is my uh, mount for my Canon M50, all the M line cameras from Canon. And uh, it's a great adapter. I'll leave the, a link right here for a video that I made on this adapter where I compare this one, this $20 to the $200 from Canon. And yeah, I'll make sure to leave a link down below as well and i think that's pretty much for today i'm now going to leave you with some test footage that i took uh, some pictures and some video samples and i'll see you on the next one